Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about four things for all of us to stop doing to have more money in our pocket. Let's get started and talk about it. First one, people pleasing, because that can cost us a lot of money. I've done a video on that. I will hopefully link that one at the end of this video, but I know how much people pleasing can end up costing us. And it could be anything from gift giving that you feel obligated, buying things from a friend whose, you know, grandchild is selling something at school. It could be, you know, buying something from a friend. I remember back in the day, and I want to ask you guys this. I used to go to all these parties. Thank God they don't do these anymore. Remember when you would have parties from selling all different kinds of things, from home things to, you know, decorations to kitchen items to makeup, all sorts of things, candles, you know, um, then they would have this one that with stamps, I remember that, they had basket one. I didn't want to say the names of any of the companies, but I remember going to all those parties. They were kind of fun, but you would be invited to so many of them. And then while you were at the party, somebody would book a party and then you'd be invited to that party. Well, then when you went, you felt obligated to buy something. I remember I had a particular party once and I didn't sell much at all. And the host of the party was actually really unhappy with me that I didn't sell much and people weren't that interested in buying. And I just, after that, I didn't have any more of those types of parties. You know, it used to be fun back in the day, but no more. So any kind of people pleasing or buying out of obligation. Okay, number two, over buying and over stockpiling. I'm not saying it's wrong to stockpile or stock on items you're going to use. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. That can be a wise use of your money if you have space for it, if you date it appropriately, and you're going to use that item or you can share with others. But many times people overstock on things and then items go bad. I've done that before on mayonnaise. I remember years ago mayonnaise was on sale. And I knew I wasn't going to end up using it. I got it for a very inexpensive price. And you know what I did so it wouldn't go bad? Is I shared it with people. That way it did not get wasted. But overstockpiling can really you know, hurt our budget and also end up wasting food on any area. And it could be on anything, not just food. It could be medicine. I remember a few years ago when I did a video on this, I went and I bought a bunch of medicine from the Dollar Tree. Our family didn't even end up using any of it. And I spent like $26. So I ended up giving all of that to a friend that had a large family because we weren't using it. None of us got sick. <laughs> so anyway, I won't make that mistake again. Number three, auto ships. I mention this quite often and I'm going to keep reminding everyone and myself that auto ships you don't use can really take a bite out of our budget. That's something I know that I had to stop doing. Unless it's something that you are loving and you're using, you can end up with auto ships for so many different things. You know, whether it's a health product, it could be anything at all that you're doing auto ship every month because you don't even think about it. And number four, waste of any kind. Everyone talks about food waste, which is so important, and I 100% agree. But you could be wasting on buying clothes and that you don't end up wearing. It could be, you know, vitamins. It could be anything that you're not using. Books you're not reading, magazine subscriptions you're not reading. Just think of anything that you are wasting and not using. It could be craft supplies. So waste of any kind. If we can put a kibosh on these things, less people pleasing and less obligations, less over stockpiling and not buying, buying things just because they're on sale and not using them, less auto ships of things that don't bring us value and less waste in all areas, we will have more money in our pocket for sure. Let me know what you guys think. Before signing off, I'm doing a shout out to a YouTube channel and I actually started watching some of her videos. I love her thumbnails. It's called The Imperfect Dollar. I think it's really good. This young lady and her husband live in Yonkers, New York, and they are working on becoming debt free and they are doing fantastic with their budget. I find her very inspiring. I'm going to link her channel below. I think you guys will really enjoy her videos. They're very well done. Let her know Money Mom sent you. It's called The Imperfect Dollar. I'll link her below. Let me know how you guys are saving money. Also, let me know some things you had to stop doing now to save money. I want to hear from you in the comments below. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye now.